It doesn't matter what our names are. The age of worshipping the famous is over. It's time for everyone to recognize their gifts, their unique personality, and their own divinity. We all chose to be born and exist on the earth at this exact moment. We didn't always know this. Some of us still don't know it. But if something calls to you now, if you feel deep within you that you're here for a reason, you are this thing called a star seed. What is important now is not individual leaders. What is important now is cultivating a collective, beneficent, and powerful energy that acknowledges who we are individually and collectively. We are part of something grand. The transformation from primitive human consciousness to a consciousness much greater, which already exists in the rest of the cosmos. They're just waiting for us to catch up. It took an event of this magnitude for humans to start waking up. This event has a lot of moving parts, even in the cosmos. There are conflicting agendas up there and down here. As above, so below. The conflicting agendas, however, cannot obscure the overriding destiny of the cosmos and the earth and the humans who inhabit it. We are star seeds. We agreed to be here on Earth at this time because we humans are the only ones who can bring ourselves and the planet to our proper destiny. They tried in Atlantis and failed. They were so bound to their technology and ruled by it that they destroyed themselves. Now we have another chance but the entities of the cosmos will not step in unless it is to prevent us destroying ourselves with nuclear technology, for example. They have already stepped in more than once in order to divert us from a path of annihilation. But as far as day-to-day -day activity and progress, not cosmic entities, but humans must be in charge. In the cosmic view, humans on Earth are babies, barely learning to walk. Just as a parent must allow a baby to try to stand up on its own and allow it to fall down and cry and get back up and try again, the human race must go through the same steps. Our destiny cannot be fulfilled except by us. No cosmic entities can come down from the sky and save us. Why? Because we would make them gods. That's what we've always done. That and kill them. We either made them gods, or we killed them. Neither one of those responses is what's needed now. At this time, in Earth linear history, we must recognize our union with Source. We are not separate from the extraterrestrial entities of the cosmos. In fact, they are us. We are them. We are all aspects of each other. There is no separation. The separation was created by humans because that's the only way we could comprehend it. 
We exist on a planet that is limited to a linear timeline and a 3D perception. The timeline we've been on, however, is reaching a bend in the road. A big bend. It's making a hairpin turn, winding its way up a steep mountain, following a narrow path. Stay on the path, starseeds. No need to feel overwhelmed with responsibility, though. It's only our spiritual energy we're lending to the collective cause. Keep up your meditation practices, whether they involve sitting, standing, walking, tai chi, knitting, washing dishes, yoga. Those contemplative moments are how we stay grounded during this time of immense upheaval on Earth. If you think you're a starseed, then you are one. If you're reading this paragraph, you are one. There's no auditions. There's no applications. Your spirit chose to be here now, at this time, because long ago you agreed to contribute to the collective energy that moves our planet toward the successful completion of its destiny. Be calm and tranquil in this knowledge. Fear nothing. Fear not 5G or vaccines or lack. These things are of a low vibration. You can only unite with something you are the same vibration as. When you're at a higher vibration, things of a lower vibration cannot really affect you. There are videos on YouTube of up to 64 metronomes mounted on a platform. They are all set to the same beat per minute, but they're started at different times. At first, all the metronomes are ticking differently, but within a few minutes, they entrain with each other and start beating in unison. This happens because of the common platform they're mounted on. The platform is a medium for the conduction of the vibration. That medium, that platform, provides a ground for all the metronomes to feel each other and unite in a common expression. Star seeds are that platform we are here to provide humanity on Earth with a common base through which our highest desires can be expressed, through which our collective destiny and the destiny of the planet can come to fruition. Star seeds, dare to name yourselves star seed now, or call yourself nothing but be who you are. When we are truly ourselves, we don't need to call ourselves by any name. We can be like Odysseus, who when asked his name replied, my name is at my journey's end. A name is a convenience, nothing more. And for that reason, we are Starseeds Anonymous. Let our individual stars unite in the cosmic constellations that Earth's future children will gaze upon with wonder. Let our separate beings come together in spirit and fuel the bright human flame the whole universe is watching. Let all be who they wish to be. 
as the paths diverge in an ever-expanding universe, you will lose friends. You will lose family. Change the S to a V and love them instead because nothing is ever lost. In love, everything exists. Give yourself permission to love and be loved. You don't need to do anything except what you are already doing. And not even that. Just be. Be you. Live life large. Take it all into yourself and let the boundary of self and not self disappear. There are no boundaries except those humans create for themselves. Come, those who are called star seeds. Come to the table and feast on what is marvelous and spectacular and sublime. You were invited to the feast a long time ago, and it's finally here.